preparing to host the next Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week Cape Town. With a range of designer fashion on the showcase from international renowned David Clale's year to homegrown fashion icons such as Gluck, CGDT, the world of fashion in Africa is spreading its wings. Joining me now is David Clale. I mentioned, I, I, you know, I feel like I, I can't call you just a fashion designer. You're like a pioneer, like everything else attached to it. And then Cesar Zamandi, we know him. He's well known. He's the managing director, uh, head of uh, AFI. And these guys have been working hard at changing the, the fashion landscape. Is that a fair assessment? You've been working really hard at making sure that we understand the role that fashion plays in growing the economy, Cesar. Look, we've got an executive chairperson, Dr. Precious Maloy Mutsepe, who is not in fashion just as a business, but is in fashion as a passion. So that, that actually drives a lot of how we see fashion and the energy that AFI puts into, 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 into fashion. Um, it, it's bigger than just the business for her. It's about developing the industry. Look, over the last 10 years, we've seen the fashion industry grow leaps and bounds. We've seen the kind of work that the, the Fashion Weeks have done, the work that they do in Cape Town. Um, talk to me just about very quickly, and I want to ask him as well, just for him, for David, to reflect as well on the growth of the fashion industry, not only on the African continent, but how we're seen around the world. I think one thing's for sure. Everybody around the world sees Africa as the next, as the next frontier, and I think driven by people like David, um, more and more Africa is assuming its position as, 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 as the pinnacle of, of, of global fashion from a trend perspective, from a, from a cutting edge perspective. And I think South Africa is playing a very big role in, in pushing that agenda. And, and, and we at FI tend to believe that we're, we're a great catalyst in terms of that, that, that position being developed. I think the spotlight has shone on every part of the world from Asia to Europe. Mm. And now is essentially the African age of fashion where we are becoming more and more recognized as, as Africa um, from a business perspective and a creative perspective. And I think that is, that is really something that is, that is as a result of, of the work that is done by everybody within the industry, um, not just in South Africa, but across the continent. You, David, as well, I mean, like you said, people like you, pioneers like you, businessmen like you, that have been able to kind of change the way the rest of the world interacts with Africa from a very fashion perspective. I mean... We, we come a long way. I mean, the brand now, David Clale, is now 13 years, and things have changed. And uh, I know that many years ago when people just showcased at Fashion Week, it was just because we had clothes to showcase. Mm. But now we've gone into the business of fashion and making sure that the industry is resuscitated. And uh, I believe um, as a, I would say as a current generation designer, it is one of my responsibilities to make sure that I, I, I champion um, bringing back the culture of made in South Africa because people get caught up in clothing or garments or products made overseas and forgetting what South Africa has to offer. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look at many years ago, Yves Saint Laurent used to manufacture in South Africa and we used to export their product. It simply shows that we as South Africans, we have what it takes to, to, to compete in mm -hmm. a global stage. And over the past 10 years or 13 years, we've seen revolution happening within the fashion sector. I love how he ended up with saying the revolution in the in the fashion uh, industry because he's, that's where platforms like Fa um, Cape Town Fashion Week plays in that revolutionary space. He, one of the things David was saying, it's no longer just a place where we put our clothes because we have to. This is where the cream of the crop, the top designers, international standard, that this is the platform for them. Yeah, I, I'm also loving the revolution talk. We've just come out of an, <laughs> an SACP Congress. We're going into Consulto. David is talking revolution on the Saturday and morning. And it's, 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 it's right there. Yeah. So the fashion revolution is the week after the Consulto Congress. <laughs> it, 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 that's true. I think, I think um, you know, we, we come from an era where it was um, by Africans, for Africans, in terms of our fashion, where mm. we, we really designed for ourselves. And I think we're moving into an era of by Africans for the world. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, like we said, I mean, D David is launching a bright collection. That's going to be my next question actually. And that for me is, is an indication of, of moving to the next level. I mean, um, you know, it, we, we started off as he said 13 years ago with, with what essentially was a, was a collection that perhaps maybe focused on a very subsistence, very sort of localized um, um, agenda. 
now um, it, it's, it's moving into different genres, different spaces, and, 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 and hopefully transcending um, the continent and the borders and, and becoming a global thing. So it definitely is a revolution. It's a new thinking. It's a, it's a more aggressive thinking. And, and when you look at all the brands that, that, that work with the AFI stable, um, it is about pushing the boundaries, going bigger, um, more about the business, sustainability, and growing um, brands rather than selling garments. Growing that brand into bridal, uh, David, what's happening? Um, because this is new, and people are, and talk about David Klale and bridal. Yeah. We expect a high end, but we're also expecting something very creative. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's, uh, it's, it's just the right thing to do because, you know, as, as a fashion designer, you've you got to be able to, to multitask. You've mm. got to do ready tour, you've got to do couture, and now uh, we are launching our bridal collection. It's because people get married. And over all and over again, and all the time, and the generations to come, people still get married. So people did. Most people don't know that I do wedding dresses. So I think it's it's time that we bring it forth. To a natural to extension. To of it's a natural mean. extension, and also it doesn't mean now we're moving away from what we do, our core essence of the brand. We will still have the David Lale high end uh, ready to wear products, and we still focus on our made-to-order garments, but now it's like, okay, now we're launching a new product, which is David Lyle Bridal, um, but there's also other products. W just quickly to interrupt there, why yeah. was Fashion Week such a perfect platform to, I mean, people have always known that you do bridal gowns, yeah. but using this platform to, to showcase them more. Because, I mean, our bridal collection that we're going to showcase is not only beautiful, pretty, white dresses. It's, mm. it's art, it's fashion, it's a story of... Uh, a beautiful product made in South Africa, craftsmanship, and also just to like also lift the the journey of bridal wear. Because I mean, I'll say to my brides when they come to me, please don't tell me to make you a white dress because <laughs> everybody has gotten married in a white dress. So we're bringing fashion into bridal. So I hope you're going to be there to see and experience yeah. um, um, the story that you're going to tell. I'm going to give you the last 20 seconds, Sizwe. Talk to me very quickly about just. The, the brand extension. He's talking about a natural extension of fashion, but this brand has just grown organically. It, I, you know, it's funny. I think from the outside, it would look like an, an organic growth, but I'm sure David <laughs> will tell you. It's been long nights for him and his team. And I, think, and I think what one of the impressive things about, about the David Lally brand is that it's got a backing of a very creative designer. Um, remove the personality, David, but it's got a very creative designer and a very strong team behind it. I think he's got a great PR team um, that do a lot of great work. And, and since my joining AFI, I've noticed that that's, that's one of the key characteristics of, of the Tlaile brand. So I think it's, 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 it looks organic, which is how it's supposed to look, which is great. But it's, it's probably one of those duck things where, or the swan things where the swan looks majestic on top, but underneath is yeah, it's it's crazy feet. bending. So mm -hmm. far from organic, lots okay. of hard work, I'm sure. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining me. And I was also talking about the Fashion Week as well. That's looked like this is an absolutely beautiful event. Um, we're talking to, of course, uh, David Klaile, fashion extraordinaire, and uh, the man behind um, the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in Cape Town that's about to uh, be upon us. Go and Google, find out more, and check out some of the awesome, inspiring fashions you will be seeing. We're taking a break. You don't go anywhere.